with Alex Codlin at Kingston Park previewing um, Friday night's game against Sale Sharks. Alex, we're now two games into the Premiership Cup campaign. How have you viewed it so far? Really, really useful exercise for us. We've used over 30 players uh, in two games, got two positive results, but also we're fully aware that we need to take a big step forward on Friday against uh, Premiership opposition. Um, last week's home game against Bedford, we got the bonus point win in the end, but we had to work hard for it. What are the learnings from that game? No, I, I thought the boys really, really stuck in the fight. Um, just tough, tough weather conditions. Uh, we've had real contrasting weather conditions in the first two games. We had a heat wave in the away at Amp Hill and obviously a monsoon and lots of winds. So the boys have adapted really well over the two games and as I said, come out with the two five point wins. But uh, we, we know we need to step things uh, up significantly for Friday. Um, got Seal Sharks this week. It'll be our first run out against a, a Premiership team. Um, are you expecting a, a rise in intensity and standard? Without question. They obviously got to the Premiership final last year. Quality side, very well coached, and uh, in all aspects, it'll be a massive test, but one the boys are very much looking forward to. Um, what is it that Seal do well? What sort of areas do you think they might test you in? Uh, well, they're very, very physical. Very physical in all aspects, and the set piece, kick chase, the breakdown. So they're, they're going to be key areas that we're, uh, we're focusing on Friday to give ourselves uh, the opportunity to get on the front foot and, uh, and look to play. Um, selection wise, last week you mentioned that um, our club captain Callum Chick was, was very close to selection. Um, is there anything you can tell us on that front? Yeah, delighted. He obviously has been with the team the last couple of weeks as a water boy and keen to be involved. And he's worked incredibly hard over the last few weeks and months to come back from his injury. And delighted to say that he'll lead the team out at Kingston Park on Friday. And very much looking forward to seeing him uh, leading out the boys. Um, a good player, obviously, as well, but a club captain as well. I guess that's important to have him back in the mix. Yeah, quality player, quality individual. And I said he embodies everything good about this club. And I'm delighted to see, uh, obviously, his first game as captain here at home at Kingston Park. Um, this week, we've been back up over the Scottish border training against Edinburgh. And the second time we've done that this season, what's the thinking behind that and what have we gained from it? Oh, it's obviously we've spent 13 weeks together over pre-season. We've had a couple of Premiership Cup games, but the more opportunities we can have to, to train against other teams, go into different environments, we'll obviously look to do that. And as you say, it was the second time. And I was very grateful just for the fact it was absolutely hosing it down in Newcastle when we left. And uh, we had a dry session against a really good Edinburgh team. So uh, it's, it's proved really beneficial. Um, it never rains in Newcastle, so that definitely... No, no, it's absolutely true. No. Um, aside from the club rugby, it's been rugby left, right and centre with the World Cup going on in France. Um, how much have you been enjoying that and who's impressed you so far? Oh, it's, it's a fantastic competition. I think just the likes of the way Fiji played against Australia, I think probably in recent competitions, it's only really got going in the very latter stages of the, of the competition. But already this, in this, uh, this year's competition, there's, there's really close games. There's obviously Fiji with the upset against Australia and I anticipate more again this weekend.